Hey, I'm Pastor Lance, and welcome to a weekly update. It's been a beautiful day here in Squim, and uh, I want to welcome you to weekly update. Oh. Oh, the coffee mug has returned, and so has Pastor Tim. We're all excited to welcome him back beginning this Sunday. Our photo of the day is part of the construction projects that we've had going on. We have the pouring of the concrete that's going to be the foundation for the metal building that's being built uh, out toward the office area. As I said, Pastor Tim is back and he'll be leading us through the walk, a journey through 1 John beginning this Sunday. So you'll want to be sure and tune in this Sunday at 10 o'clock, either online or in person. Cameras and Coffee is meeting August the 15th at 7 p.m. in the auditorium. So we'll come and gather for a great time uh, with Cameras and Coffee. Summer Baptisms, we baptized at Lake Crescent last two weeks ago. Uh, several uh, young people here at Dungeness Community Church. If you're interested in being baptized, then I would encourage you to call the office because Summer Celebration is coming up August the 28th, and we're going to have a baptistry there, and so you'll be able to be baptized, and we encourage you to do that. Summer Celebration Volunteer Team is, uh, as I mentioned before, Summer Celebration comes up August the 28th, and so you can sign up online to volunteer for Summer Celebration, or you can call the office. We're going to need lots of volunteers to pull off that a great event on August the 28th. Worship Workshop is August the 8th. You can arrive at 6.30 for fellowship, uh, 7 p.m. for the workshop, and then 8 p.m. for worship. You don't have to play an instrument or sing to be able to come. Just come and enjoy the worship. Surf Ministry is meeting at Crescent Beach RV Park on August the 13th from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. And so you can show up there for uh, the surf ministry. Today our scripture comes from 1 John, since Pastor Tim is going to be preaching on that. 1 John chapter 2, verses 3 through 6. We know that we have come to know him if we keep his commands. Whoever says, I know him, but does not do what he commands is a liar, and the truth is not in that person. But if anyone obeys his word, love for God is truly made complete in them. This is how we know we are in him. Whoever claims to live in him must live as Jesus did. And we know that Jesus gave us the two most important commands when he said that we're to love the Lord our God with all of our heart, with all of our mind, and with all of our soul, and love our neighbors as ourselves. And so we look forward to this journey through 1 John. Let me pray. Father, thank you for the commands that you've given us to love you with all of our heart, with all of our mind, with all of our soul, and to love our neighbors as ourselves. And we pray, Father, that we would have spiritual eyes and ears open to see those that we have the opportunity to love and to serve. Pray, God, that you would stir within our spirits, God, that desire to spend time with you each day. Lord, meditating and thinking about your word, worshiping you, Father, in spirit and in truth. We thank you for this great church, for the opportunity we have to gather together. And we thank you that Pastor Tim has had an awesome three-month sabbatical, and we're thankful that he's back. And so, God, we give you praise for that. We pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, well, we look forward to seeing you online at, or in person at 10 a.m. this coming Sunday. And as for me, Pastor Lance... I'm signing off. Oh, you'll be back. <laughs>